Hello crafters, today I'm going to be sharing with you five background stamp techniques and the stamp I'm using today is um, from Do Crafts and it's called Moroccan Lattice. If that sounds fun, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. So the first technique I have is a kind of a colouring technique. There's two ways to do this. One which is a lot quicker but a bit more messier and one which is kind of literally filling in the kind of like the colouring book page. So anyway, the way I did this was first I um, got some embossing ink. I used Versamark and I put it onto my stamp and then I rubbed my um, paper all over that and then I'm embossing it with some clear sparkle embossing powder. And then I heat set it and there you have it. And now I'm going to show you the two ways of doing the colouring. The first way is again a lot more messy. So to start off, I'm just going to get some water and brush that all over um, the paper. I'm just using cardstock for this, but watercolour paper would probably be a bit better. And I'm also using my watercolour set from um, Van Gogh, I think. And I will be doing a review on that, so stay tuned for that. Don't know when it'll be coming out though. And I'm just going to start kind of putting paper all over the page. I decided to do it with kind of blue because I thought it kind of looked maybe a bit Grecian and I don't know I was really feeling that with this card and so I got my lighter blue and I put it all over and then I got some darker blue and I put it in the spaces where I wanted a bit of darker blue and this is actually really fun and really relaxing and I'm really happy with the results. For the second part I'm going to be doing a bit more of a fill in the dots kind of um, colouring book kind of thing. So again I put water on top, it's just so the watercolour um, kind of flows a bit more and I think it makes the colouring a bit more easier and a bit more enjoyable. And then I literally started just filling in the dots and I didn't do this um, with the full page just because I don't know, I kind of wasn't going to have time to do um, a big page of it but I think a little section like that, it definitely covers a card base so it's definitely enough and it's definitely really nice and it's also quite enjoyable to do and as you can see not all of my watercolour is the same density pigment um, it's I thought a little um, kind of difference was nice and for the next card I'm going to be doing this kind of a double embossing thing so I'm getting my Stampendous um, embossing ink dauber out. You could use a Versamark ink and just put that all over. But I had this so I thought I might as well use it. And then I'm using some Ducrafts and um, copper embossing powder and I'm putting that all over. And then I'm going to heat emboss that. And even this by itself is really nice I have to say. You can make some lovely keys with it or something. And it took me quite a while to kind of clamp my tweezers onto it. As you can see, I had lots of trouble with this. And then shake off the embossing powder and then I just heat set it. And I'm going to show you how it's set. This is speeded up by four. I wish heat embossing um, melted that fast. It took maybe like two minutes to do this, but you know, you get the YouTube editing. And now that that is done, I again inked up my background stamp with the Versamark ink and I'm just going to press it down again. And um, you could also use a brayer for this, but I don't know, I didn't have it, so my fingers just had to do. And I always got a really um, good impression anyway, so it's not much trouble. And then lifts off. And then I'm going to cover that with some gold embossing powder. And again, you could use any embossing um, combination you want, but those are the ones I want to use. And I think they are really good, maybe the best. And then I just heat set that. And for the next one, I'm going to do an ombre kind of card panel. So I'm using some of my Memento Dewdrop inks and I used the blues. So I used the four blues and I'm just going to kind of overlap them a bit and do them in a four stripes down what I think would be like a card, the space of a card panel on my background stamp. And then I just put that down and um, rubbed it again. It wasn't really good and the ombre wasn't amazing, but that I think it still turned out pretty well. It's kind of hard to explain, but I still kind of like it. So there, as you can see, it's not the best, but it's good enough. Next is a wedding card, and this is um, using a very, very subtle um, 
embossing technique and I'm just going to be using some um, really thin embossing powder. This is from WOW as you will see and I think this is beautiful for um, wedding cards and maybe even like um, funeral cards if you did in a more darker colour. It's very subtle but it's very nice and if you had some kind of a pearl embossing powder I think it would look so good but I just had my um, kind of melted embossing powder by WOW which you can see I'm um, yeah, it's there. It's the um, melted embossing powder by WOW. I just have it in a little um, container with a little spoon and I just put that all over and then I heat embossed it. So the effect when um, it's heat embossed is really, really subtle. You almost can't see it. And if you wanted um, to have it even more subtle, I would not put any embossing powder on the Versamark when it's stamped and it'll kind of give it a watermark effect. It'll be very subtle, but it'd be very nice. And I just make sure you get the embossing powder all over. So for the next card, I'm going to be doing this double stamping with your background stamp kind of technique that I made up. And this is not going to work for all your background stamps, but for something geometric like this, it does work out. But if you have like a flowery background, I wouldn't do it. But again, this one would work or anything geometric or um, repeating pattern. And my, so there you have it, I used a pink from um, Memento and then I used a different red this time and I just kind of put that all over and I tried to line it up as best as I could but um, in the end I didn't really manage to do it but I still think it looks very good. So don't be afraid of having it like um, very perfectly lined because it's probably not going to happen let's be honest, especially with a rubber stamp and it can give a really nice effect as you can see here. So to finish off all of these cards I'm going to um, add some sentiments and add some images. So I'm using the Orakami set and I'm going to be making a wedding card with my um, subtle background. So I just cut that out with a the works um, rectangle stitch die and stuck that down. I was going to add a little something but in the end I didn't. And I'm using the a W plus 9 set and this is from a creative stamping um, set um, magazine. I'll have those linked up here and then I'm just going to stamp those down. I chose a few sentiments and I'm just stamping those down with black onto um, just some cardstock with my Misty. And then I cut them out, some using um, dies and some just using scissors. And as you can see, I'm just going to um, stick those down. I used my colored in piece for the Sending Thoughts of Love. And again, it's a The Works die. And I'm also, when that is done, I also added the other ones on, but you know how to do that. So I didn't show it. And um, I have these cheap action sets that I'm going to try out for the first time and you can see them in the thumbnail. And that's all for today. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel.